Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, today we will talk about the Google Translate Documents and Images uh, website. Uh, first, you have to go to the your web browser, such as Google Chrome, and type in the search uh, box, Google Translate Documents, Google Translate Documents. And then you will choose the first choice, Google Translate. This is the website, Google Translate. Just click on it. We have a normal text translation from text here. You can type anything. Let's say I will type organization and I would like to know uh, what does it mean. Uh, as you see, this is the original text and here is the translated one. You can change the language from this part. You can choose French, German, uh, English. It's already in English, but you can choose from here the language that you, uh, you need. Let's say I would like to translate this text to Arabic. I will select Arabic. And as you see, organization mean in Arabic منظمة. Uh, this is the first, this is the normal translation, but the new AI uh, options, we can translate images, the images that contain uh, text, uh, or we can select documents and translate it to different language. And we can also translate website. We will start with translate. Uh, website just click on the websites here and select the website that you would like to translate to any different language let's say i want to uh, open the uh, yallakura.com this is a website uh, concerning about uh, sports yallakura and press enter here this is the website link from the First option, Yalla Kura, al Riyadi al Awal Shark al Awsat. It's in Arabic and I would like to translate it to English. It's so easy. You will just go to the address bar and select the website link uh, and select the website link and copy it. Just click right click with the mouse and select copy. Now I copied the, the website address. I will go to the Google Translate. Make sure that you are selecting websites and paste the website URL or website address here. Just press right click and choose paste. And this is here, I added the website link and I just press on the blue icon, the arrow icon translate. When you click on it, it will open a new tab with the uh, translated, oh, it's from English to French. Okay, but I would like to translate it to English, so I will return back. It takes time to translate it to French. Just wait seconds. Here is the translation. Okay. From Arabic to English, it's not English. You have to select the Arabic language to French. And as you see, uh, you select the original text in Arabic and translate it to English as you see. Type if I would like to translate it to different language, just select the desired language here from click on this arrow and select the language you want. Let's say I would like to translate it to English, so I will click on English icon and it will be translated to the English one. It, it will translate the whole website to the desired language. And even if you select one, if you select one of the links here, it will be translated also. And let's say I will click on this icon, this image, it will be translated. Oh, just select the, the original language here. Make sure it's in uh, Arabic because this is one, the website, it's in Arabic and it will be translated to the desired language in, in French. Uh, I would like to change the translated, the desired language to be in English. So I will select English and it will be translated to in just uh, tomorrow's match uh, and so on. If you go to the uh, the matches that done yesterday, it takes time and then it will be translated because I choose the desired, the original language wrong. I have to select it in Arabic because this is the original language. I have to select Arabic and select the desired language, English. It will be translated to the 
our yesterday's match and, and so on. And as you see, we translate it to the uh, desired language English. Okay, it's so easy. Uh, this is the first part. This is the first part of Google Translate. We will return back to the Google Translate by clicking on this tab. This is the first option to translate the whole website type. Uh, what about documents? Uh, here, uh, you will just click on the documents tab and it will display this page. Uh, just click browse your files to select the desired file that you'd like to translate to different language. Make sure that you choose the original language. Uh, yani I, I will show you the, the, the file first so you can uh, see the original document. Here from drive D, I have a file I would like to translate. It's called revision. Oh, this is the uh, revision file. I will open it for you. And as you see, it's written in English, okay? Which programming language do developer use to design the interactive web page, the fourth stage in designing a website. <clears throat> and as you see, it's related to the HTML and it's all uh, written in English. And I would like to translate this document to be in a different language such as Arabic. Uh, how can we do this? It's so easy. I will uh, keep it open and I will go to the website, make sure documents, uh, the original language is, is English and I would like to translate it to Arabic. So I will select the desired language, which is Arabic. And then I will select the file by clicking on this icon, browse your files, and then select the file. It's, it's called revision, okay. Uh, as you see, revision.docx, this is a Word document, a Word document written in English. I will select it, and as you see, it will be, uh, it's uploaded to the website, and just click on translate. I will click on the translate icon. It takes time to translate, and then it displays the icon download translation. I will just click on download translation to download the file. It will be downloaded, as you see here, it's downloaded here. I will uh, uh, open its folder, show in folder. It will open the folder for me, and this is the translated one. I will just double click to open the file. And as you see, uh, it's translated to Arabic. The whole document, it's four pages, it's translated to Arabic. I will show you the both files. This is the one in Arabic, okay? This is the one in Arabic, and this is the one in English. The two files next to each other, as you see, uh -huh, this is the one in Arabic. I will go to the first page. Uh, which language, uh, which, language pro uh, which programming language do developers use to design the interactive web page? Uh, translation in Arabic. Uh, I will scroll down to the second one. The fourth stage in designing a website is you will find the translation in Arabic. Designing, planning, implementation, and phase, publishing, and nash, and so on. Uh, we specify the name and the subject for the website in. Uh, uh, planning stage, marhala al preparation and developing stage, marhala al-adad wa tatwir, marhala al-nash, publishing stage, marhala al-tasmim, designing stage. And as you see, the whole document translated from English to Arabic in just uh, seconds. Uh, this is the second option in the Google Translate website. Now we will go to the another option in the Google Translate documents and images and websites. We will choose images. I will select images here, and then I will select the, the image from here. Uh, first, I will show you the, the file, the image file here. It's um, here, I will show you the image. This is the image that I would like to translate. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not an easy to translate it. If you want to translate it, you can go to the Photoshop and type the new translation. Uh, this is the image. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the uh, the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. Okay, this is the image. Uh, the image contained text inside. Okay, it's so easy. I will go to the Google Translate 
documents and images select the images make sure that you select the original original language is english and i would i would like to translate it to arabic so i would select the desired language from here select arabic and then browse for file search for select your file by clicking on this icon and then i will select the file it's uh, it's here this is the file in english the image in english and i would like to translate it to arabic I will just double click on it. It will be uploaded and translated to Arabic. And as you see, لقد كان الأفضل مرات كان الأسوأ في بعض الأحيان كان العمر من الحكمة كان عصر الحماقة. This is the translation of the original one. Uh, if you click here, it will show the original. Uh, and as you see, it translate. It was the best of times. كان أفضل مرات. It was the worst of times. كان الأسوأ بعض الأحيان. كان العمر من الحكمة كان عصر الحماقة and you can translate to any other language if you'd like to translate it to German it will be translated to German uh, it's var this bestie and so on if you'd like to translate to Arabic to French you just click the desired language and it will be translated directly to the desired language and then you can click on download translation click here the image will be translated with the uh, desired language show in folder to show it and then i will open the file here and as you see it's translated to french the last one if you would like to translate to different language you can go easily click arabic it will be translated to arabic you can click on download translation it will be translated to arabic and save the image uh, uh, as uh, arabic language just open it and as you see this is the translated images by using google translate i hope that uh, yeah, yeah, you learn how to use the google translate documents with websites and images from the website google translate thanks and uh, good luck